In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to set preferences, access your messages, report absences using Safe Arrival, and join and create groups. Begin by opening up the Limestone District School Board mobile app. From here, it's easy to access the Messenger app by clicking Absences and Messages. If you need help getting the School Messenger app or logging in, check out our tutorial how to sign up and log into the School Messenger app. Now let's get started by looking at how to set your preferences. Select the hamburger menu from the top left corner of your app, then select Preferences. Here you can view your contact preferences as well as make changes to message preferences. You will see repeated phone, text, and email icons on your screen. When a symbol is showing is green and white, it is an approved method of communication. You can see here that under School Hours Emergency, all three methods of communication are enabled, and you aren't in fact able to turn them off for emergency contacts. You will see here, if I select Call Me, I get a notification that I cannot disable it. Let's head back and take a quick look at the general options. Here you can enable or disable any of the communication options you like. If your main contact number changes through the school year, make sure to contact the school to update this information. Now let's look at how to view your messages. Select the hamburger menu again, and then Messages to see all messages sent from your student school and the Limestone District School Board. Now let's look at how reporting absences works. Begin by selecting Attendance. To report an absence, select the purple plus icon in the bottom right corner of your screen. You will be directed to select your child's name, the type of absence that is applicable, a reason for the absence, and the date the absence will occur. When you have all the details entered correctly, select Send. Now you will see that the details of your child's absence have appeared on the attendance page. The last thing that we're going to look at is how to join groups, so that you can get updates about these groups through Messenger. Select the hamburger menu again, then Join Groups. Here you will see a list of all of the groups you have already joined. You can join any of the groups for which you have the code by selecting the Join a Group using a code button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Simply type in or copy and paste the access code here. Then select Return. You will see your new group appear in your list of groups. And that's it for this tutorial. You should now have enough information to get started with the School Messenger app.